Hello beautiful souls and welcome back to the darkest sunrise. I hope that everybody's having a wonderful day and listen today we're gonna do a little bit of girl talk here okay because we need it okay at least I do because um I have like <laughs> one friend that I talk to on a consistent basis so I'm trying to I'm trying to get a village a village of non-toxic human beings okay like let's do this <laughs> If you hear my daughter snoring in the background, I apologize, but your girl's got to rest, okay? You know, she has a hard day. She's two. She's learning all the independence. She's learning herself. She's learning cuss words. Oh, girl, help me. This video is mainly going to be more of like a life update because I haven't done one in a really long time. And I also have been gone for like two weeks. So I feel like why, what better time than now to do a little life update and let you guys know how I'm doing. And you guys can let me know how you're doing too in the comments because, girl, I want to know what's good i'm not gonna lie um seasonal depression has gotten me down so fucking down and like seasonal depression on top of so many life changes on top of losing friends on top of exiling friends on top of like all this bullshit bro seasonal depression is whooping my ass like absolutely tearing me apart because i feel like whenever the sun is shining i feel like i'm on a party drug you know what i mean like when the sun is shining it's like nice out the carnival's in town like there's always like something to look forward to when it's nice and sunny and you know the rain ain't trying to whoop my ass the snow ain't trying to whoop my ass the cold ain't trying to like freeze my little butt cheeks off into freaking fudge tickles or fudge rounds bitch i don't know like i just i just i really hate the winter time so much i mean i love christmas but after that ease up mother nature ease the fuck up because i'm going through it okay i feel like honestly <laughs> this winter has been crazy i, I i've never I've, I'm, I'm at a point in my healing that i have gotten rid of so many people that like this like silence like i should like it's deafening bitch i've gotten rid of so many people that this silence is fucking deafening i feel like i should be happy that i have gotten rid of all these toxic people i should be happy that i don't have to deal with the bullshit that i had to deal with before but it's like not easy to love people and let them go like you know what i mean it's not easy to be like okay well you're a shit to me like not not your shit not like you ain't shit but you act like you ain't shit to me okay so like you act fucked up to me and then i love so hard that i don't want to let people go and that's my biggest problem because bro the way that like my brain has wanted to spin the block on people that i know that i cannot spin the block on bro that's another part another element of this whole seasonal depression that is just fucking me up because I, f I used to have a lot of people to lean on well usually i was leaning and like falling at the same time because people really didn't hold me up that well but listen i used to have people to talk to about my seasonal depression okay even if it was people who like would say like the most bare minimum shit i still had somebody to talk to i still had people in my corner and now like i do have people in my corner don't get me wrong i'm not like a complete loner i'm not like out here like raw dog in life by myself okay but i used to have a lot more people and it used to be comfortable for me to open up about certain things to certain people and now that those certain people are gone bitch i'm journaling <laughs> i love journaling don't get me wrong i love journaling but i don't know like i'm tired of i'm tired of people being so fucking shitty that like i even have to get rid of them you know what i mean like i wish that there are people that i could have kept in my life and today actually i had one of the friends that i had to let go of last year um message me and apologize and tell me that i was right which like was refreshing i feel like but even then like that's that's literally it's hard because i want to respond but i feel like if i respond i'm gonna fall back into like oh well they they said they're sorry so everything's fine now and i can't be that person anymore like as much as i i wish that i could go back to certain friendships as much as i wish that i could go back to certain people I just can't fucking do it anymore like even if there's an apology like even if they ask for forgiveness and I do forgive them there I just can't I can't go backwards anymore like seasonal depression has already fucked me up to the point where I'm like regaining weight like I I've I've gained weight I'm working hard to get rid of this weight again but it's not like a couple pounds like bitch I'm a good 20 up bitch I'm a good 20 okay a good 20 <laughs> like what the fuck I'm so proud of myself because I have gotten, um, I've gotten myself down to what, what was I? I was 270 to begin with and now I think I'm like, what was I? I was 207 
coming from like 190s I can't remember I can't remember what I was but I do know that I gained like 20 some pounds and I've lost a few I've lost, lost a few as well so I'm happy that I've lost a few in these last couple weeks but it's like I've been so like I feel like I've been so stagnant with my healing for the past couple months like as much as like I want to I, I want to say that I have been doing like a lot of decent work because I feel like I have you know what I mean I haven't been doing the work that I like need to do like I, I need to be more more intentional I need to be more aware of, of of how like I I can I can put myself back a little bit I am the queen of self-sabotage okay and the way that that makes me feel is like ineffable like I don't know like I just want I want to I just want to be better like you know what I mean like I want to experience life to the fullest and not be stuck in these like limiting beliefs I want to stop putting myself in situations where I even not even putting myself in situations I want to stop overthinking everything because I'm start, slowly starting to happen again I'm starting to overthink I'm starting to worry I'm sorry starting to be I'm starting to shift back in this old mindset and I really cannot afford to be back in this old mindset I can't because there are so many great things to look forward to in this life and there are so many great things that I want to do and so sitting back and like kind of moving myself back into this old mindset is like so damaging and I know it is and like I feel like I feel like I'm watching myself unravel if that makes sense it does you know you know it makes sense it makes sense because you've probably done it your fucking self if you're if you self-sabotaged before okay and I'm not gonna lie it's the fucking hardest shit in the world to overcome it's the hardest shit in the world to come back from but baby like I have to like there's no there's no other way but in terms of school we're gonna talk about school for a minute here I am doing so good in school still I have a 3.9 GPA I am I'm still making all A's um this class that I'm in now I'm doing a um, research methods class so we do like a lot of analytical stuff we're like analyzing a lot of papers a lot of research papers looking at the difference between empirical and non-empirical data looking for like we're looking between like comparative data causal claims like association claims like all these different things okay we're going through that and I'm while I don't really think it's that fun I'm not gonna lie to you I don't really think it's that fun I'm happy that I'm in this department getting back into um being better at school I'm getting back into like being a better student and working to shape my day um to fit in school more often and it's helped tremendously I will say that I'm a little bit upset and I have to talk to my I have to figure out what's going on with my professor because I got a B plus on something that I deserve to A on 100% deserved A on because I followed all the directions but she can't can't click on some link or something like the link that I like for my e-portfolio she can't click on the link to it um which is fine like I can try to figure out how to send a link that she can click on but I'm not gonna get a B plus for something that I did like I did the work so I have to figure out that but other than that like I school has been like super good um I am really still trying to figure out if I want to um after I graduate from the school I want I want to figure out if I, I just don't know like I I feel like a part of me wants to just find a job that pertains to my degree I want to look for a job after I graduate that is going to coincide with my degree okay so like that's that's one thing but I also have to figure out if I want to continue education because when I tell you that I'm burning out I'm burning out like to the ground bitch I'm burning out so it's like I don't want to like leave school like graduate well because I'm not I not leave school like I'm not dropping out or anything but once I graduate I don't want to like graduate and then wait a whole bunch of time because I don't want to go to school anymore and then I just don't go to school I also feel like if I rush into going to school to get my master's degree I'm going to burn out and probably drop out of school so I have to kind of figure it out I have to figure out what's the, the best option um because I've been thinking like of going all the way up to my doctorate which would be which would mean like probably a good 15 years more of school and I just don't know if I can give that I just really don't know if I can give that because bro come on now <laughs> no I really figure that out for myself um but school other than that has gone it's been going amazing um I'm I have some stuff that I have to do tonight that's due at midnight so I have to get that done I'm 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 crashing and burning but I'm I'm holding my head up high <laughs> 
Um, in terms of my business, I know I've been talking about this business idea that I have and me launching my business um, this year, which is super exciting. I finally did like a checklist of all the things that I need to purchase to start this business and to get this thing on the road. So I'm really excited. I'm super, super, super excited. So in the next couple months, that's going to be something that I'm going to be working on. Um, I've done logos I've done um packaging I figured out like what I want my logo to be um I think I have to I think I want to do a couple more um um I want to do a couple more logos and a couple more um I, designs for my packaging because I think that if I have like more options to choose from I'm in the type of person that I change my mind so often so I think if I have a couple options to choose from that'll be better for me so I think I'm gonna end up designing some more of those to see just what I like and if it's gonna actually be what I want because I'm tr I'm planning on launching this business in the fall so I want it to be a little bit of a fall theme you know what I mean and then we got Christmas coming so I have to do logos for Christmas like Halloween like all these different seasonal um I, I want to do seasonal packaging so I have to really figure it out and see what is best for my company I'm super 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 excited for it I'm not gonna lie um along with this seasonal depression I've had struggles with motivation to do anything in regards to this company I'm not gonna lie I I really do struggle but I've been pushing through um my motivation has been hella low but um that is one thing that I know that I'm doing this year regardless no matter what happens no matter who's in my corner no matter who believes in me that is something that I'm starting this year I'm not gonna say exactly what it is because I don't want anybody's energy touching this besides my business partner and I am just so I am so excited you have no idea so 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 excited um there's a lot of things that i i really need to work on personally like growth wise still i need to get myself back in a good mindset so that i can be more motivated and like push out better content and, and really just really just be better in all in all things in all ways because there's a lot of things repressed shit that i have not been working to heal from there's a lot of situations in my in my childhood there's a lot of trauma there's a lot of things that i really just haven't really worked through and I need to start working through I, I'm planning on getting into therapy again this year um so I know that I talked about this before I had a therapist that I really 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 loved okay I loved this woman so much and I am thinking about waiting until I have the funds to get her again because the last situation that I had with the with like getting therapy and them like connecting me to somebody who I didn't have like my insurance they didn't take my insurance like that shit was so discouraging i'm not even gonna lie it was so discouraging and then whenever i told the lady like you, like i went weeks without speaking to this woman like that hooked me up to this other lady because honestly i was discouraged that's just what it is um and when i finally did reach out and say okay like i'm ready to start this process again like you connected me to somebody um who didn't take my insurance i still really appreciate your help but like i think that now i'm ready to take this step and i would like to really pursue it further and see if i can find a new um therapist and she seemed more defensive than compassionate so i was like maybe you're not the woman for me maybe you're not the lady that needs to be putting me into therapy maybe i need to find somebody else um but i do appreciate all of the help that she did give and all of the resources that she did provide um she just didn't give me like the right information um, but I do appreciate what she's done and the time that she took out to do the assessment and all of those things. But I'm thinking about getting back with my actual therapist because, bro, hard eyes without you, girl. <laughs> I love you. You know what I mean? You're my girl. I love you so much. Um, but the therapist that I did meet, though, that, like, I really thought she was about to be my home skillet biscuit, okay? I really thought that she was about to be, like just it was it was so nice because she was so sweet she was she was nice she she's black and not that like i need to because the the one i'm trying to go back to she's white so like let's not do that okay but it was nice to be able to know that i have i was going to have a therapist that had a similar experience as me um living and 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 breathing in america okay because i think the perspective of a black woman is a very unique one so i was really I was really excited for that. I was really, really excited for that. But it is what it is. I, I She's not my therapist. So I think that I'm going to go back to my old therapist because I just love her. I just love her. Okay. So much. And she, she I don't want to unpack any more bullshit with anybody else. Just saying. Life has just been lifing. I've been going through a lot when it comes to like accepting a lot of things from my past. I think that I'm, I've been thinking about things that I've gone I've been just thinking about things that I've gone through and thinking about like 
every like just everything like my past has not been the greatest i used to gossip i used to talk shit i used to be crazy i used to party all the time i used to freaking smoke all the time i used to do a whole bunch of fucking shit okay i used to do i used to be this completely different person okay and i it took me a long time to realize that a lot of the times in my life the things that i went through the adversities that i went through i was part of the problem and so i've been able to take accountability for these things now but what's upsetting is like i sometimes unpack like layers of shit so I go back and I look at things that I've gone through and it's like makes me physically ill bro like the things that I used to put up with makes me physically fucking ill sometimes like it's it's like I'll get nauseous thinking about the person that I used to be and so I'm really trying to work hard to heal I'm really trying to heal from my past from my abandonment issues all of the things that I've gone through because I've realized like for example um I think that it's a really good thing that I'm not it's not a good thing that I got traumatized but I think it's a good thing that like I don't have interest in dating right now because like I think I need to that's something I do need to work on with a therapist as well I don't feel like I would be ready to date if somebody wanted to date me simply because I don't think that I've ever had a relationship that wasn't toxic so that's something that I want to work on because I've been toxic in relationships I don't think that it's just the men okay girl <laughs> she's a little crazy sometimes okay but I've never I've never had like a, a healthy relationship with a man um and I think that that's something that I really want to work on before I do step back out into the dating scene i want to take care of me first and foremost before anything but that is something that i want to learn to do um is how to be um better in relationships uh, because i think that in many of my relationships i moved in a more codependent type of um fashion i was not always i was not always not always independent i needed reassurance every five seconds like i needed to know that you loved me now or i'm not gonna feel it like there was a lot of things that really just i don't resonate with anymore and i want to learn how to unlearn because bro i'm trying to be somebody's wife up in this bitch not soon oh not anytime soon but like i really do want to be able to heal from these things and want to be able to move and just differently and be better in relationships be better in in life and really really just like live the life live the life that i want to live because bro 2024 i'm not gonna lie has started off very shitty but i really want to turn it into something beautiful i want to turn it into something amazing and i just want i just want to live a life of peace happiness success wealth like all of these things like i want a life that is just beautiful okay beautiful thank you but that is pretty much all um i i can't i can't do a long ass like life update because girl i don't be doing nothing but the same five things you know what i mean like i'd be going to work i'd be coming home i take care of my daughter like it's the same thing it's a it's, it's a routine at this point there's obviously new little things that i sprinkle in like my business and all that stuff for seasonal depression be like hey girl how are you you know what i mean but like i um there's not much that i can really say that's gonna change much you know what i mean because i live this oh, i just cracked my fucking ankle and that hurt so bad life has been lifing and i am praying and hoping for the best because something has got to give okay and i'm i'm working on it i'm working on becoming a better version of myself i'm working on healing i'm working on getting myself back on track i just am so ready for 2024 to be the year that i sprout fucking flowers bitch thank you before i go i love you so much first and foremost but second of all please make sure that you like subscribe comment all that good stuff please show me some love go into the description box below okay and give me a, a like a follow on my podcast as well rate it all that stuff i just hope that everybody's having a wonderful day and everybody who supports me thank you so much and i also wanted to say before i even i, I, I should have said this in the beginning of the video but thank you so much for 220 fucking subscribers like what is this y'all are so sweet and i love you so much and thank you for all of the love on my shorts because i had a short that um was like i don't know like 10 i got like 10k views on my shorts on this one short actually yeah i got 10k views on this one short and i was i was i feel the love okay thank you but also before i go all you haters chill the fuck out okay i i cannot even tell you how many haters i've gotten since like i've like obviously i'm not like a huge huge creator but i cannot tell you how many fuck like since the la my last video up to now um i've gained a few subscribers okay and bro when i tell you that the shorts that i post like once i started consistently posting shorts you got some hating ass bitches like they just don't like themselves in the comments like people people will really pull anything out of their ass to be negative like smile 
Like it's okay to be happy. Like chill the fuck out. Like this one person, a little one subscriber, self-esteem low as fuck, like girl, bye. Well, boy, bye, I think was a boy, but it was probably a girl hiding under, I think I know who it is. But anyways, this little fucking boy, girl, whoever the fuck it was, okay, is gonna fucking body shame me on a video from when I was like closer to 270. Bitch, do you know who you're talking to? Do you know how much weight I've lost? The projection is so real. Step on a treadmill if you don't like yourself that much. Calm down. Like, the fuck is wrong with people? But I love you beautiful souls so much, and I hope that you have a wonderful day, and a wonderful evening, and a wonderful night, and a wonderful life. Okay, bye.